A team of computer hackers commandeers Toronto's iconic city hall, and the authorities don't mind. Calling themselves Project Blinken Lights, the Berlin-based group turns the building into a giant video display. They unveil it during Nuit Blanche, an all-night arts festival. Thousands flock to check it out. In fact, they get right into it. The idea from, of Blinken Lights is to turn the building into a display that can be used by anybody. In the normal mode, it just displays various animations. There are, there's a playlist of movies and just plays back one after the other. But the real funny part is that you can actually play games on the building. So you just take your mobile phone, call a number, and at that moment, the display, the building, shows a game which you can command and control just using the keypad of your telephone. I've got 28. Each of the 960 windows becomes a single pixel in a giant video screen. They call the display the stereoscope because it takes advantage of the two curved towers' unique design. It's a huge project, five months in the planning and more ambitious than the group's previous efforts in Berlin and Paris. Project Blinken Lights is a group of gifted people who are into technology, who love technology, who love to play around with it. And to be a hacker is not a bad thing. The term hacker is something very positive for us. Hacking is about breaking things in order to see how it works. It's a very creative process. So what other people call hackers should, call, should be called criminals. All the programming originates from a central command station. It relays instructions to small computers on each floor. They send signals to custom-designed wireless dimmers attached to each light, directing them to glow at one of 16 different intensities. And every window has to be rigged individually. The first thing you have to do is to put up these cover sheets. So now the cover sheets are set up and now we can install the dimmers for the lamps. That's all that needs to be done. Now the dimmer is fully operational. Back at the control center, the team monitors the display via a live video feed and a real-time simulation of what's being played in the windows. Some animations come from Blinken Lights members, but anyone can download the code and send in a show. Project Blinken Lights is all about participation. When we created our first installation, we didn't consider it to be an art project. We wanted it to be a platform. A platform for people to get in, contribute code, contribute animation, contribute new ideas. And that's exactly what happened. We are focusing on enabling technologies in order to make everybody participate. And even if you don't contribute an animation or play a game, you can interact with the stereoscope. We have created this nice 3D simulation simulator that also shows the same stuff in real time, but where you can change the view dynamically and choose from where you want to actually look at the building. So the same program exists for the iPhone, and that way you can participate worldwide. During Nuit Blanche, Chris Palmer can't beat out the other 1,200 visitors calling in to play video games, but he can change his point of view without going anywhere. I downloaded a little program for my iPhone. So what's cool is it's giving me a real-time feed of what's up on the building right now. And you can kind of pan around and see what's on the other side of it, you know, zoom in, see it up close, change the angle that you're getting at, see what it looks like from down on the square, all of that. It's really exciting to see, you know, what's possible with this kind of technology. Tim Pritlove says that the Blinken Lights team are only artists by accident. What they really do is create giant technologies for people to share with each other. Project Blinken Lights is also about reclaiming public space, bringing such a building, especially a city hall that's made for the people, back to the people in a very literal sense. So. If when you can play a game yourself on a building, or you can even design your own animation and put it up on this huge screen, that's something where people really reconnect to the public space. Kind of pan up, see it from up in the air, outer space view. That is so cool. <laughs>